Hi guys, welcome to the Detail Corner. A little while back, James from Super Clean, because he's so awesome and nice, sent me an email stating that he thought his products would be helpful for me and my viewers. And would I like for him to send me a few products to try? And I was like, yeah, I do. So a couple of days later, I received this package in the mail with all this cool stuff. It has the original super clean degreaser. It also has the all wheel cleaner, has a slight acid to it. And it also came with the foaming super clean. Very nice. And it came with this super awesome hat. And of course, super clean t-shirt. This video is brought to you by super clean. And the number four, because that's how many products I'm gonna test. Okay, in full transparency, do you guys see that big gallon super clean in the back? Yeah, that one right there. I bought that one with my own money. I always have a super clean on hand. I just love super clean. I've been using this product for a couple years now. I like it so much I even gift it to my friends. And they're like, oh, a degreaser? Thanks? And I just tell them, trust me, you're gonna like it. One of the great things about this product is it's so versatile. There are literally hundreds of uses for it. If you hop on over to their website, they have dilution charts and videos on how to safely use their products. In this video, we're gonna go over just a few of the ways that you can use Super Clean and if it really works. You can use Super Clean to clean the coffee stains on your stainless steel mug. I mean, you need to have a clean coffee cup. Can you even detail without coffee? I'm gonna fill my cup of Third Wave Super Clean in the rest water. I'm going to let it set for about 15 minutes. After letting it set for about 15 to 20 minutes, you do want to rinse it out real well. Maybe wash it with dish soap, rinse it again, and then enjoy. You can also use Super Clean to clean off your stovetop. I'm going to go ahead and spray down my stovetop with Super Clean. There's an offsetting, a stream setting, an offsetting, and then a spray pattern. I'm going to use the spray pattern that way I can cover more area faster. I'm going to let the product dwell just to give it a chance to work before you see me scrubbing it. And after scrubbing it down, we're just going to wipe it up with the microfiber towel. And here I'm adding just a little bit of Dawn dish spray as well. I feel like these two products work very well together. the final result and it did clean up real nice. You can even use Super Clean to clean your laundry. You can use Super Clean to spot clean your clothes before you wash it. I'm going to add a fourth a cup of Super Clean to get my clothes super clean. Another fantastic way to use Super Clean is to clean your greasy, dirty, grimy grill. Just look at all the layers of dirt on this thing. I don't think it's ever been cleaned. And to be honest, we should probably just get a new one. Oh. My. Goodness, Super Clean is definitely going to have its work cut out with this one. First thing I want to do is pull everything out and then I want to remove as much ash as possible.
Warning, I'm not a professional grill cleaner. This video is for demonstration purposes only and this is just my crazy way of grill cleaning. Use these techniques at your own risk. Please visit the Super Clean website for proper grill cleaning techniques. Since I'm going to be cleaning this grill, I'm going to be doing it detailer style. So what does that mean? We're using a large array of brushes. And of course, you know that means I'm going to be using a foam cannon. I fill my foam cannon halfway up with water and the rest super clean and then about three ounces of Dawn dish soap. So we're gonna spray on the super clean and let it dwell for a little bit. Look how fast it's pulling the grease right out of the grill. After I sprayed on the super clean, I'm gonna let it set a little bit and then I'm gonna foam it down. Then we're gonna let our foamy super clean dwell for a little bit. Wow, just look at all that grime. After letting the product set for a little bit and doing its job, we're gonna take our brush and we're gonna agitate. After agitation, we'll rinse off. all clean we're gonna dry this baby off not too bad if I do say so myself before we use this grill to cook anything we will light it and let the fire burn off any remaining chemical my favorite way to use super clean is as a pre-wash there are many ways that you can dilute a pre-wash just based off your needs you can dilute four to one if it's really dirty five to one if it's moderately or even 10 to one if it's just lightly. Right here, I'm just gonna use a five to one, so five parts water, one part super clean. We're gonna spray our mixture onto this dirty bumper, let it dwell for about 30 seconds, and then spray it off. Right now it's cloudy out and I'm not in direct sunlight, so I can just go ahead and spray the product on. If you're in direct sunlight, you will want to spray your paint down just to make sure it's cool. Now my paint is ready for a safe contact wash. Let's get to cleaning these wheels. Once again, before using any product, you do want to make sure your surface is cool. I like to use my super clean pre-wash first, just to see how much dirt I can get off the wheels and tires before I start using my products. And here we have the foaming super clean in action. Don't forget to shake the can well before you use it. I really liked how this product foamed on. Just look how aerated it is. It has a pretty decent dwell time and look how it starts to pull the browning out of the tire right away.
Here is their acid-based all-wheel cleaner. It foams on when you spray it. You'll want to let it dwell for about one to two minutes and then lightly brush it and you can rinse it off. Now let's take a closer look at those results. And this is what it looks like once it had a chance to dry. And here we are with our tires dressed. Okay, since I pre-rinsed the first tire, I want to show you guys what it'll do without pre-rinsing. This is just spraying the products on and seeing what they can do. We're going to spray on Brake Buster to see if it passes the white foam test. That is looking pretty white to me. What do you guys think? I'm going to use the foaming cleaner to see how well it can clean these cloth seats. I feel like this is the perfect product to clean these seats. Because it's a dry foam, it's not going to oversaturate the cloth. And there you have it. Just a few of the ways that you can use super clean in everyday life and in everyday detailing. So some of my final thoughts on super clean is that it's versatile, it's easy to find and easy to buy. It is dilutable, which makes it super economical. It's biodegradable and they like to sponsor motorsports events and fishing events. How great is that? So I want to know, do you guys like super clean? If so, leave in the comments below how you like to use super clean. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. And last but not least, a big thank you to Super Clean for sending us these amazing products. And catch you guys next time. No